the beaten path. Off the beaten path. Brand new country. And we're not talking that top 40 crap either. This is where you can hear great singers and songwriters, and they just don't have the backing when it comes to labels, guest interviews, and everything from pop country to bluegrass and folk to hip hop. This, this is Off the Beaten Path. Off the Beaten Path podcast, me Ben Merritt. It is another episode and another week for me to introduce you to some new and up and coming and underserved. Uh, hopefully, soon we'll have them being overserved musicians. Again, throughout the world of country music. This week's special guest, Mr. C.J. Solar from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I, that was, I apologize, C.J. We had a great conversation. Please don't think that I was making fun of you. I, we, I, I'll just move on. How about that? Uh, we'll check in with family members Sonia Lee and Maggie Rose, because why not? And they've got some brand new music out there, too. Stick around. We'll also hear from Tucker Beathard, who you've been hearing on your favorite country music stations all across the country, I'm sure. Tyler Rich, who's good friends with John Party. We've got Alex Smith, Morgan Miles. And he is a Wolverine by blood, but a Chippewa by heart. Uh, David Ray, coming from the great state of Michigan, went to Central Michigan University, moved to Nashville, then he moved to Southern Florida, and then he got into country music. <laughs> He's been everywhere, man. Here he is now. This is Light It Up off the Earthquake album, Mr. David Ray, on Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. I guess it's the last of the pictures. Yeah, I got them all down. I guess you won't be needing your favorite t-shirt. Cause you ain't around. I'm gonna box it up and drive it out. And take it to a spot on the edge of town. Splash a little gasoline. Over your memory, gonna light it up. Watch the flames burn away. Wanna fall with love. Now it ain't anything. All the heartache, every mistake, turn even your goodbye in the dust. Everything is left of us. You on the phone, but your phone kept ringing, and I tried so hard to start moving on, but your stuff's got me thinking that there's a chance it might come back, that it's all over, gotta face the facts, I ain't saying it's right, but it sure feels right, gonna line it up, watch the flames burn away. Turn even your goodbye in the dust Everything's left of us Please welcome the one and only Off the Beaten Path with Ben Merritt.
Beaten Path Podcast, me, Ben Merritt. We're all doing a little whiskey dreaming now, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. That's Morgan Miles right there with Whiskey Dreamin', her latest single. Uh, but it's not the first. No, no. She put out her first album back in 2009 and pushed it all throughout Europe, as a matter of fact. But it earned her some uh, credibility here in the United States. A lot of great singer-songwriter you know, collaborations and stuff like that. She opened for Crystal Shawanda for a few years. Uh, she worked with Reba. I mean, this girl is going places. Morgan Miles from Williamsport, PA. Hey, don't they do the is the Little League World Series that happens in Williamsport? I don't know. I'll have to get Matt Morgan on the uh, on the air and talk to her about that. <laughs> Miss, Miss Morgan Miles is the name of her latest EP, and Whiskey Dreamin' is the lead single off of that, so make sure that you go find it as well. He may not play football, but he does have the same name. Alex Smith is out there with Fear of Missing You, the album, but right now this is loaded up right here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Marin. It's the start on the weekend, go get all dressed up, say goodbye to the week with the plastic cup. We're gonna go out and stay out till the sun comes back around. We'll worry about tomorrow when it rolls around, cause we're living in the moment, in the moments now. Come on, boys, no, we don't want to miss out. Price bar, but here we are again. We've got high heels and short skirts for men to end. If I see one I like, I go up and buy a drink. Pretty little girl standing next to me has a birthday pin on. I hope her gift is me. I'll buy her another round and tell her it's on me. Girl, it's on me. Load it up, load it up.
your home for new and upcoming country music. Everybody ready? We're ready. Let's kick the tires and light the fire. Main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Blast off. Off the beaten path with Ben Merritt. Podcast me, Ben Merritt. There you go, family reunion style with little Miss Sonia Lee. That is Spider in the Roses featuring Rob the Man and Daphne Willis. And again, isn't that awesome? That's just a badass song. It's badass from a badass Sonia Lee because she's all badass. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the middle of the family reunion here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. And uh, let's just keep it on rolling, shall we? Miss Maggie Rose has got a new one out. It's called The Variety Show, Volume 1. Came out in early April. And uh, here she is with the latest track from that said album. It's called Same Sky. This one is going to tug at some heartstrings in a positive or a negative way. We lay out in the grass trying to catch a falling star. We listen to our dreams in a melody Coming from your car Holding on to you Looking in your eyes I saw it Just like a new moon Takes its turn and fades away I used to have your heart But your heart was made to break mine And change Holding on to you Looking in your eyes I see it
it's yours and mine. Same sky, same sky, same sky. The only thing we share. Used to be yours, mine was yours. But now I want it all back. Can't call me baby no more. Can't tell me how to act. Only thing we share tonight is we're underneath the same sky. All of the kisses I left on your lips. The nights we love, your hands, my hips. Oh, oh. Only thing we share tonight is we're underneath the same sky. Same sky, same sky, same sky. Only thing we share tonight is we're underneath the same sky. Do you know a band Ben doesn't? Tell us who you are digging on on Facebook.com slash OTBP Podcast, Twitter at OTBP Podcast, or email OTBP Podcast at gmail.com. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Again, my weekly excursion into the world of new and up and coming country music, hopefully trying to introduce you guys to your new favorite up and comer. And this week, I'm pretty excited. This is a guy that I've uh, I've enjoyed his tune now for about a month, I think. And then the EP came out middle of April. I enjoyed, I've been enjoying that as well. Uh, and finally, I got him on the phone, CJ Solar. CJ, how are you, man? I'm doing awesome. How about you? I'm doing all right. Now, CJ Solar, that's got to be like a stage name, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, you know, it's so funny. Everybody thinks that I just, like, made this name up, and I'm like, wow, where would that even come from? <laughs> it's not even that. Like, some people are like, oh, that name's cool, or some people are like, that name's stupid, but I, it's, it's the CJ stands for Curtis Justin. My dad, I'm a junior, so they, since I was born, they called me CJ. My grandma apparently hated it, but I guess she's gotten over it. Yeah, and, I think, uh, I, I think and, after, and, you know, 20-something years, she's probably gotten over it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so so she's all right with it now, but uh, and then uh, Solar, uh, my uh, I, my great grandpa came over from from Spain, so I guess it's it's Spanish. But uh, well, there you go. But yeah, so all right. Well, so C- history. CJ, we got a couple of icebreaker questions. I didn't warn you about. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, that's uh, <laughs> I'm sure be all right. All right. Uh, no, nothing like, you know, when was the first time you kissed a girl or something like that? That's fine. We don't want to know about that. Unless it's a really okay. good story. I mean, is it? No, I don't no? Think so. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so either. Usually it's like, I was at a dance. Okay, yeah, that's not yeah, that good. Yeah, mine's about that lame. <laughs> uh, so here it is. Uh, icebreaker question number one, and feel free to be as specific or nonspecific as you want, because more than likely you won't be there when uh, people hear this interview. Where are you right now? I am sitting on my bed in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, with, uh, that's, that's about it. I, <laughs> I, uh, if, if I, you, if... I, I'm supposed to go write a song here in a little bit when we get off the phone oh, okay. at the office. And, uh, <laughs> But I told him I was, you know, I was doing this this morning and that, that I'd see him when I was done. So, um, well, I have a feeling that Jake, I, Jake will probably let you slide on this one. So, I mean, I've already showered and, and gotten ready for the day, but I really don't have a good sitting space at my house. Oh, so okay. It's like, okay, I could go sit at like the kitchen table downstairs, which you never know. Some of my roommates could come in and out or be like cooking eggs or something. <laughs> so I was like, or I can go in my room and just sit. On my so, nice. So, nice. So here um, I am. Well, I mean, don't, don't feel weird. I think I just did an interview not too long ago where a guy was shirtless and then I've done interviews where people have been bottomless. So don't worry about it. You're not my first bed <laughs> or half naked interview. If you were, I mean, you don't have to, it's okay. Never mind. Uh, cause that got weird real quick. Anyway, <laughs> CJ, the other uh, icebreaker question I got, and I like this one because it really lets me dive into your psyche as a songwriter and a singer. Um, if we were to hit eject in your truck or fire up your iPod real quick, what's the last thing you were listening to? Oh, gosh. And don't say your own EP because that's just, I mean, that's just <laughs> big headed. I'm trying to get my streams up, dude. I'm <laughs> no, you know what's funny is I, I literally just pulled up. Like, I, I was about... I was like, all right, don't miss the interview, don't go. <laughs> and uh, I was listening to 
I guess Dallas Davidson just put out a song. Oh yeah, um, and it, it's called like Laid Back or something. But he's got Maggie Rose, who's incredible. But it's funny. He's got like Ma- Manny Fresh and another like. <laughs> Rapper guy rapping on it. I did see that. I haven't listened to it yet, though. Is it good? Do you like it? It's cool. Yeah, it's 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 definitely different. It's just funny. I, I didn't know. I mean, I honestly had no idea that Dallas Davidson was putting music out. So it was just kind of. It was interesting to uh, to hear. I, I think but, it's just uh, like a one off. I don't know if he's doing like an album. I think it's just for fun. No. Um, I did yeah. see it in the download center at the station I work at, and I was like, I gotta listen to that because I like. Maggie and I like Dallas's music when he writes, but I was like Manny Fresh, and I was like Manny Fresh around still. Like yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I was like, what has Manny Fresh been up to yeah, for he was, like the last twenty years? He was big when I was in high school, but yeah, and you know, all right. Well, I'll take a listen to it because CJ Solar said that it's worth it. So, <laughs> well, yeah, check it know. out. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, CJ, you come from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I mean, there is a lot of music down there, but it doesn't necessarily all come to mind in the world of country music. I mean, you're talking like polkas and zydeco and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, man. Southern rock uh, is kind of where you are, though. I feel like that's kind of the, the the angle that you're going for. Is that right? Yeah, you know, yeah. So I, I, yeah, I grew up... Um, I started playing guitar when I was like eight, but I, I remember like my dad and I, like my family all just loved like Southern Rock, Leonard Skinner, and you know, and stuff like Bob Seger and Creedence Clearwater Revival. That was huge. We listened to Creedence a ton, and uh, you know, the, I, I guess that's not what everybody listened to. But it, what's funny is I remember going and hearing live music, and that was the kind of stuff that that people were playing. It was almost like Baton Rouge wasn't it? a huge country music town when I was when I was real young and then as I started getting older and when I was in like seventh or eighth grade and I started listening to country music for kind of the first time uh, I was like this stuff's really cool but and I'd start playing it at some of my shows but it wasn't like people were really getting into it which is kind of weird because I mean it's not like but but as I got into high school everyone was like play more country music but uh <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so it's kind of, you know, most of the guys that were playing songs around town were playing classic rock, and uh, that's kind of what I, I, I grew up, you know, at least really early listening to. And, and you know, to be honest, whenever I was, like, looking for new music that kind of sounded like classic rock, country music was, you know, kind of what it is. I mean, when you listen to those Credence songs, I mean, they're... They're, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty much country music. I mean, the Eagles are mm-hmm. you used to be rock, and now they're soft rock. But they're, you know, I, I'd almost consider it country music at this point. So, well, I think if just, if the Eagles of the '70s were to come out nowadays, they would be considered country music. Absolutely. Oh yeah, exactly. So, you know, I think that it's just kind of been a natural progression of people who are, you know, writing real songs and. And you know, making you know some music that makes people feel stuff. At least in that in that regard, it, you know, country music is where where it's at. And you know, the storytelling is is, is unlike anything else. And the craft is just there's really not many other kind of music, uh, any other kinds of music that that has such a level of lyrical craft. And you know, and I and I, and I love to rock out a little bit. So <laughs> trying to trying to combine the two is. Uh, is, is 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 really fun to, to to get to do, and and I'm I'm glad somebody's liking it. <laughs> and uh, you're a bit of a triple threat too. You've got the obviously the singing, which we'll hear some here in just a little bit. Uh, you were talking about your guitar playing skills as well, and you're a bit of a songwriter as well. And by a bit of a songwriter, I'm talking like big names are starting to you know put your songs aside to be put on their like, like their next album, right? Yeah, man, it's 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 been really cool. You know, I feel like that's kind of how a lot of the even man, even Luke Bryan, you know, wrote uh, "Good Directions" for Billy Currington before he even blew up, which is crazy to think that Billy Currington was around before Luke Bryan. But <laughs> well, he did um, a duet with Shania way back in the day. So yeah, so it's just it's just cra- that's so fun. It's crazy, but you know, I, I you know I, I love writing songs and I, and and. Um, I was so lucky last year um, to get to know Jared Neiman a little bit and have him record a song that I wrote called Blue Bandana. And, 
he put it out uh, as a single last year, and uh, I was just super fortunate. And and that song is was it was always pretty special to me. But I was just so happy that, especially I, I you know I hear of guys all the time that are like, man, my first cut was like somebody that you know you've never heard of, and you know they lost their record deal instantly, but. I'd always been such a uh, you know, a fan of what Jared did and his first record, um, <laughs> Judge Jared and the Hung Jury, and all the talking and the skits and everything that he did in there. To me, it was just like the coolest thing ever. And that one and was stuck it, in you know, that that one was stuck in my CD player for like six months, probably. Oh yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I still listen to that album sometimes. I mean, whenever we're on road trips and stuff and look, looking for stuff to play, but I mean. It was just such a, a, a great, you know, di- amount of styles that he had on there from really country to kind of rocking and and just great songs. So, I, I, you know, just to have Jared do a song that I wrote, and I technically wrote that song before I even had my publishing deal, so it's one of my my older songs that's in my catalog, but, I, you know, it's just a song that I always loved and... Can, can I tell you a very meta moment that I had last summer when I was listening to that song? Yeah. I, I was listening to that song at a country music festival, and the girl that was within Eyeline had a blue bandana, like, wrapped around her neck. That's amazing. Was she like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I have a blue bandana on, and this song's for me. No, I think she was just a little too far out of range to hear it, but it was a, it was a moment that I had. You know, I was like, oh, that's, I was like, oh, hey, look, that's that girl off in the distance that's wearing the blue bandana at a music fest. It was kind of cool. Did you did you kind of want to go hit on her? <laughs> I kind of did, yeah. <laughs> I think I wanted to do that even without your song. Tell you the truth, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. People always are like, "Did you have a girl in a blue bandana?" And I was like, "Well, I mean, I went to Bonnaroo, and there were obviously like <laughs> attractive girls around. I don't know if there was." You know, one girl in particular that I remember, but I went for to Bonnaroo for like four years in a row when I first moved to Tennessee. Very nice. But, but yeah, you know, the first year I went to Bonnaroo, there was it was which was really the, the only year that I really loved to line up. The next couple of years, I just went with my friends. But Zach Brown, uh, Miranda Lambert, and Jamie Johnson all played that first year, and I was just like, "This is awesome!" And I was like, because then like. John Fogarty played, it's, and then there's like Stevie Wonder and Weezer, which I like Weezer too, but well, yeah. there were just like all kinds of, it was just like the, the best like random grouping of, of, of music, but I, I had a great time. But, uh, <laughs> I feel like you kind of have to have a great time at a show like that, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, mu- music festivals, I know a lot of people are starting to go to more and more music festivals, but they're, it's really... They they can be difficult just because it's you know especially in the summertime when it gets hot and you're just you know standing out in the heat but they're they're they're, they're an experience unlike anything else or, yeah you know so but yeah that that song was one of my favorite songs and I'm you know super fortunate to have Jared done it and uh, a few months later he recorded another song of mine uh, called the Regulars that should hopefully be on be on his album that sh- should be coming out here in a little bit he just put out. His single after Blue and Damon called uh, a little more love, and and I love that song. Yep, yeah, I and, think uh, uh, I think it's slated for like middle of July is when the new album's supposed to come out. I think so. Oh, nice! Well, something I'm, like that. I, I'm I'm super pumped <laughs> to to at least to have my song on there and go buy it from Walmart. <laughs> plug, uh, plug, plug, <coughs> plug. <laughs> well, well, see, you're not saying anybody else. Well, that's just like you know, it's funny in Nashville when people write songs. And, and and somebody records them. Whenever the when the single comes out, you know that doesn't go in a store or anything. But when the full record comes out, people go and like buy it from because I mean, you, unless you order it off their website, but it's cool to just like go into Target or Walmart and see an album sitting there, and and which most which a lot of them aren't even selling albums anymore. But find one of the stores that still does and buy your album in a store because it's just like you know get a physical. It's like okay. This actually proves that this, you know, this this song exists. <laughs> and then you don't even open the cellophane; you leave the price tag on it. What store you bought it at? I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I probably I, well, because I'm going to buy it on my phone. <laughs> so, you know, it'll, I'll probably 
you know. And, and then I know a lot of people just kind of, you know, keep those as like just little, you know, milestone things. Is you know, man, getting people to record your songs is hard. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. So, but uh, but well, yeah, so I, you know, I've been lucky to get in with Jared, and, uh, and he's been just super great to me and helped mentor me a little bit. And, been a, been, been a good friend. Actually, uh, I went to the Charles Kelly show in Nashville the other night, which, if you haven't seen Charles Kelly do his solo thing, I don't know how much he's touring on it, but oh my gosh, he is, I mean, obviously he's great with Lady Annabella, but unbelievable. And uh, I ran into Jared at, at that show and we hung out a little bit. But uh, He probably bought a few rounds and things got weird. Um, and... Naturally. I mean, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know Jared. Yeah. But yeah, he He's such a good dude, and uh, but I, you know, I, I had a song recorded by by Justin Moore last year too. I hope it makes his record. I, I'm, I don't, I don't know Justin at all, so he's a little more of a kind of, you know, I don't, I don't really got get any inside scoop on that one, but <laughs> but I hope it's on there because it's a really cool tune. But all right, well, uh, yeah. we we gotta we gotta move on, man. We gotta we gotta play some music from you. I mean, CJ, this is this is about you, dude. So tell us, uh, which this is amazing. This never, this is almost never happened. <laughs> this is this is a first for me, man. So I really appreciate it. No worries, dude. Uh, tell us a little bit about the single, "A uh, Little More Time." Man, "A Little More Time." I actually wrote it with Josh Jenkins from Green River Ordinance, the lead singer. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but I am. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty good. They're 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 a cool band, and uh, and Josh is just really awesome, down to earth super cool dude and uh, we got together one day and we were just talking about you know screw ups and things in the past and if we could do things over again and and uh, that song kind of just fell out I mean I feel like we wrote that song in an hour but it was just it always felt really special and um, I remember the first time I played that song live we 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 played it um, probably getting close to a year ago which was around when I wrote it um at in Knoxville, um, opening for Cadillac Three, and I remember we we played it really close to the end, probably like right before Blue Man or something, and uh, and people just were like headbanging. I mean, it was just like, man, this song's got something to it. And, and I remember thinking, I'm gonna have to, you know, save save this one for the for the record. So it it, it was really cool to get to you know, watch how a lot, you know, and I kind of did pretty much did that with every song on the, on the EP and kind of cycle in songs that I was writing at the time and, and see what people seem to really be like. And, and that one, not that, I, not that it was incredibly surprising, but I just was, was, you know, it wasn't one that I was thinking people were going to just really f- flip over, but, but it, it seemed to be at the live show it went over really good. So I'm, I'm excited that it's on the EP and it's, uh, it's definitely it's definitely a rocker for for a ballad, but uh, all right. I well, hope you, hope you dig it. let's uh, let's give them a chance to to flip over it as well. CJ, don't go anywhere. We'll come back and talk a little bit more. But right now, it's a little more time here on Off the Beaten Path with CJ Solar and myself, Ben Merritt.
four pounding in my head. No other explanation. What my time yet? Yeah. So there you go. That was a little more time for Mr. C.J. Solar. C.J. still on the line with me, sir. Have you uh, have you laid down on the bed yet? I know that you were just sitting there. No, I, I'm actually walking around right now. Ah, you got a little uh, restless. Got it. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't sit still for too long. The the mentality of a touring musician. You guys are always on the move, right? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> in the in the in the van riding around. Yeah. Trying not to creep too many people out. Bouncing from seat to seat. The driver turns around and says, Don't make me turn this around. <laughs> I actually had to yes. I actually had to say that word for word to a group of friends of mine. We were going to uh we were going to a microbrewery just north of town and uh they were bouncing around in the back of the Jeep and I was like, Don't make me turn this around It was hilarious. Well, they were like, like, Okay, mom. They were like, Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, you know what's funny is you know I, I tour with pretty much just uh, uh, me on electric and and bass and drums. So there's usually only three of us going around. So I I do a lot of the driving along with. I mean we all we we kind of pretty much evenly split it. But there's only three of us, so there's only there's you know, only so much. Driving, yeah. When you're driving when you're driving nine <laughs> hours somewhere, you know this. It, it gets pretty evenly split up, but yeah. it's still... One drives real. there, the other drives back, and the third guy's lucky, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so CJ, tell everybody, this is the Pip Yourself portion. This is where management gets real happy with me. Uh, the promotion team gets real happy with me. You get real happy with me. The fans get real happy. Literally, Pip Yourself, man. How can we find you online? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You mentioned you have a Snapchat, don't you? you got to start working on that game, man. I need I, You know, I, I, I've got a Snapchat. I'm not as active as I'd like to be, but... I'm a, I, I, I post pr- pretty regularly, but I post a lot on, on, on Twitter and, and Instagram and Facebook. And uh, I'm on everything as just CJ Solar. Um, you know, if you type that in on any of those, that's all I am. Just, just straight up CJ Solar, no no music or anything. And uh, that's, and I think, yeah. That's pretty all, easy. All, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, all across the board, I you know, I, I've, I've been a, I've been a person for for my whole life. So whenever these things came out, I just put my name into them and <laughs> there you go. And got got them from the get go. So let me uh, let me see. Can I let me see if I can? Oh man, Twitter has really changed their stuff around lately. Uh, uh yeah, CJ Solar. There you are. You're uh, are you you're not blue checked, are you? I'm not. I don't know if I'm verified on Twitter. I don't think I'm famous you are, enough. You me. are not. You are not blue checked. We need to, the movement is now to get CJ Solar verified on Twitter. CJ Solar verified hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, it's funny because I am on Facebook, and it was random. Somebody just like emailed me and was like, "Hey, we saw that you're playing CMA Fest. Would you like to be verified?" And I was like, "Yeah, definitely. That'd be sure. awesome." Yeah, but, but but I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> How, how like why other than me playing CMA Fest? I don't know where the Twitter people are, but uh, but they but they haven't hit me up yet asking if I want to be verified. Well, I don't think there's really anybody out there pretending to be me at this point. Yeah, that's always the thing too, is whether or not you know there's somebody out there pre- pretending to be there CJ is a, Solar. There is a solar energy company called CJ Solar UK. <laughs> and, uh, 
They're, they, they, I mean, it's my exact name. They're but, probably uh, they're probably verified. They're probably upset that I stole <laughs> CJ Solar before they could get just regular and that they had to put UK at the end. Because they're, cause they're but, probably uh, not even based in the UK. Watch. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Well, CJ, again, the EP is out. It's called Hard One to Turn Down. Uh, it's on Spotify, which is where I first heard it. You can download it on iTunes and probably the Google Play Store and Amazon and all that as well. Uh, tell us about the whole process of, like, getting in the studio and recording your very own EP. You've done demo work before, obviously, for your songwriting. But now this is music that people are going to hear that is yours and yours alone. Man, it was just, it was an incredible experience getting to go in and, you know, I, like I said, play all the guitar, pretty much all, all the solos and the and the, the rhythm parts and, and and really just kind of dive in. We we did we did all the music in one day, so we kind of, you know, we you know we got to take our time, but not too much time. So it was it was pretty cool to um, you know get to get to do all that because normally with our demos we spend you know. We have a, an incredibly amazing professional band, and they spend 30 minutes on you know pretty much each song, and that's yeah. kind of how the timing goes. But we got to spend uh, you know two or three, two or so hours on each song, and it was just a really, really great experience. And to get to record music with my buddy Brent Anderson, which I wrote hard on to turn down with him, and uh, and you know he he played acoustic and and produced it for me and it's just a great dude and it, you know i wrote a lot of these songs with a, a, a lot of my really close friends and so to just you know i i don't know if i you know wrote any of the songs with any big hit writers but uh not but yet just, not yet which yeah. i which i have written with some of those guys and i love some of those songs and i'm sure i'll end up doing them well but, but that's the other thing too though is those big hit writers came from somewhere man you guys are the next generation maybe that would that would that would be awesome. I hope so, man. I got some really talented friends, and and uh, so we're all trying to work our way up together. But it's 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 really fun to get to kind of put some music out that we that we've that we've made together, and and uh, and I, I'm I'm really proud and excited for the stuff, and Absolutely. I hope everybody's digging on it. Absolutely. If the reaction that I've been getting at both the radio station that I work at and just from playing your music for other friends of mine is any indication, man, I think you've you've nailed it. You've got the sound. You know, I think you've got the ability to to continue on with a long, prosperous career, sir. And I I appreciate you taking some time to chat with us. All right, man. I appreciate you having me. This has been awesome. And uh, thank you so much for helping spread the word. Definitely. Before you go, though, you got to tell us about Tall Boy before we listen to it. Man, Tall Boy is just a uh, just a every man or woman's uh, anthem for for getting over a heartbreak, you know, and just kind of relishing and relishing in the moment of being of being sad and and drinking a cold beer and getting over it. And not, and not not just a regular twelve ounce cold beer. Either. <laughs> The, yeah, the twelve ounces I think is just a waste of time anymore. It's, <laughs> I, I mean, it it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know Coors Light has basically done away with them, so why shouldn't everybody, right? <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, CJ, again, thanks for taking some time to chat with us. And here it is. This is Tall Boy from Mr. CJ Solar. It's off the beaten path podcast with me, Ben Barron. Taste with better make a toast. And moving on looks like you got.
Hey, do you know a band that I don't? Please tell me that you do, because there's so many great musicians out there that I have no idea who they are, but I want to remedy that. I want to know every country music band in the country, and the best way to do that is for you to tell me who you're listening to. OTBP Podcast on Twitter, also find OTBP Podcast on Facebook, and OTBP Podcast at gmail.com to spread the love of some of the bands that you're digging on all across the country right here on Off the Beaten Path with me, Ben Merritt. Young artists, get your music on the show by emailing Ben at otbppodcast at gmail.com. Friday night, strings tuned just right On the stage and there's some cheap neon lights Thirty-five of my best friends in the crowd And at that town pump that I was playing when I was just nineteen, my friends couldn't get in Sure as hell no, we were sneaking through the back door I played forty-six out of the fifty states For the last ten years just trying to find my way Every time I leave, I just want to come back home I'm California grown well, Yeah, we spend our weekdays dirt on our hands Weekends with toes in the sand Shooting whiskey on a Friday night For Saturday, we sip the margaritas in the daylight Sunday when the service ends Hop in the truck for the boat on the hill. Pulling Tracy over six foot away Spending every summer out there on Clear Lake Just me and the boys doing all we know Yeah, there's nothing quite like this place that I call home I'm California grown Yeah, we're California grown I think I know about this place You say there ain't another country About the Golden State It's just palm trees, beaches, and celebrities California. Well, Have you ever heard about that Bakersfield sound? Owens and Haggard used to run that town You go two hours north of the Hollywood sign You find farmlands miles wide Weekdays dirt on our hands Weekends with toes in the sand Shooting whiskey on a Friday night for Saturday We sip the margaritas in the daylight Sunday when the service ends Hop in the truck, pull the boat on the hill Pulling Tracy over six foot away Spending every summer out there on Clear Lake Just me and the boys doing all we know Yeah, there's nothing quite like this place that I call home I'm California grown All the way to L.A. from San Diego to the San Fran Bay Well, you can find me in the Sacramento Valley Probably shooting shit with Mr. John Party Weekdays dirt on our hands Weekends with toes in the sand Shooting whiskey on a Friday night Saturday we're sipping margaritas in the daylight Sunday when the service ends Hop in the truck on the boat on the hill Pulling Tracy over six foot away Spending every summer out there on Clear Lake Just me and the boys doing all we know Yeah, there's nothing quite like this place that I call home I'm California grown Off the Beaten Path Podcast, meet Ben Merritt. There you go. A little Tyler Rich, California Grown, off the Valerie EP. And that is not the first time we've heard from Tyler here on Off the Beaten Path. 
it means that uh, we're, we're probably going to have to start working on trying to get him on the show. From little northern California, Yuba City, he is on tour right now, actually, with Chris Lane, former member of the uh, Off the Beaten Path podcast family, and Mr. Dustin Lynch. Yeah, he's on the Hell of a Night tour with Chris Lane and Dustin Lynch. That's going to be awesome for Tyler. Um, congratulations, man. Definitely, he's been working his butt off for that. So, uh, this is a guy that I'm trying hard to get uh, guys that are doing big things already on the show. But Mr. Tucker Feathered now with Rock On here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. Girl, I really did mean it when I wished you the best. Good to hear you're killing it way out west Finding your own way didn't take too long Baby, rock on, rock on Getting tough keeping up with where you are Posting pics like some big Hollywood star Guess every club in town is playing your song And baby, rock on, rock on Rock on like you don't miss me Rock on like it's all good Rock on till you forget me Just like you said you would I gotta tell you I can't stand The thought of someone else holding their hand should put a rock on Yeah, I do a lot of thinking about wanting you back But I don't know about all dolled up like that If my homegrown country girl's long gone Then baby, rock on, rock on Rock on like you don't miss me Rock on like it's all good Rock on till you forget me Just like you said you would But I gotta tell you I can't stand The of someone else holding their hand I should have put a rock on Yeah, rock on Saw your hashtag digging on some new dude Girl, you left me with nothing else to do Rock on like I don't miss you Rock on like it's all good Rock on till I forget you Just like I wish I would I gotta tell you I can't stand I thought of someone else holding that hand Should've put a rock on Baby, rock on Yeah, should've put a rock on Yeah, baby, rock on Girl, I really did mean it when I wished you the best off the Beaten Path Podcast, me, Ben Merritt. There you go, Tucker Beathard. It's from the Demos, Volume 1. That's rock on. I'm trying. I've sent email after email, and I'm trying to get him on the show. Uh, but it's really hard once they find that success to be considered off the beaten path. So, uh, Tucker Beathard right now, I think he's sitting in the top 20. Top 20 with that one, which is a big deal, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I haven't looked at the numbers. They come out uh, after the show actually goes to... Uh, <laughs> to iTunes and all that. So, again, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been following the show forever. Uh, again, thank you for using the new OTBP radio that's out there as well. Just go to our website, OTBP Podcast, to find it. You can also find the show on iTunes, just like everybody else. You can find it on Stitcher, TuneIn. Uh, we've got it on YouTube as well. Nice video format. There's no real video to it, but <laughs> the audio will be there. Yeah! Uh, but again, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been following along with the show and all that. So, uh, CJ Solar, thank you very much to him as well, and uh, everybody that we featured on today's episode 
coming up as well. Tomorrow I have a couple of emails to return to see if maybe I can work out uh, this month's live episode. So in theory, I don't already know who our live guest is going to be next week. <laughs> I have a couple of inclinations, but uh, I can't officially give you a real preview. Sorry. You just have to tune in next week to find out. <laughs> it's Off the Beaten Path Podcast. Me, Ben Merritt. Have a great week. Bye-bye.